welcome beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I told you not to be loud. <laughs> Ignore him. Um, today I'm going to be making some sugar cookies. The sugar cookies aren't super sweet because I don't really like super sweet sugar cookies, but these are great for the holiday times. Um, you don't need that many uh, ingredients <laughs> for the recipe. You just need flour. <laughs> oh. <laughs> flour. Um, white cake mix, uh, butter, and vanilla. Um, actually, the recipe that I have it from says that you can do a variety of different things if you want. I can leave a picture um, somewhere, probably at the end of the video, beginning, somewhere in the middle. I don't know. I'll take a picture of it, that way you can see the recipe that I have. Um, but let me just start this. <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is melt your butter just because it's easier today we're using one pound of butter which is a whole like the four little things of butter so i usually just do it on low they say that you can also um what's it called put it in the microwave but i don't have a microwave i don't like my microwave that much so it's actually nice to have not have it so I just melt four of them. And it's best when the butter is kind of that room temperature because then it melts a little bit faster. You don't want the butter to burn. I just basically want it to melt completely and be hot. Okay. Before I did this, I already pre-prepped everything. So you're gonna need two and a half cups of flour, just regular flour. Um, you're gonna need a big bowl, a hand mixer, and any thing of white cake mix. I haven't actually used any other type of cake mix for it, but you can. And I actually tried looking for this recipe online, and I really, I really couldn't find it anywhere. It's just a little mixer that I have. Just to mix everything together. And yes, you are, at the end of this, everything will mix completely together. Yes. And as you can see, I'm not adding um, any sugar 
Yeah. It's literally, oh, a big no. Do not use unsalted butter. Use, I mean, do not use salted butter. Use unsalted butter. The salt will come through in the cookie. It won't come out bad. The cookie won't come out bad. The cookies are just not going to be what you want. So, with your butter, you want the butter to come out like creamy consistency. So that's why you want to put it in the pot first, boil that, turn up, boil it, make sure it's completely melted, and then add in your butter and turn off the heat. You don't want to make them the same consistency because you want them to be creamy. clarified butter and you cook that it shouldn't burn. Okay. So mine is basically done. Here if you can see it. So if you see at the back of my pot you can see how there's like white stuff. That's what I mean. That's that's the, the milk. Quote unquote milk. Okay. So now these are done. I'm gonna just for me, it doesn't really matter what speed that you have your electric mixer on, just make sure that it's mixing basically. Also adding your vanilla. I think it was just to add this to the butter, but it's fine. And it's supposed to be only one teaspoon. You, I usually eyeball it because I've been baking a long time, so it doesn't really phase me too much if there's a little bit more than there should be. But I'm usually pretty good about it. And literally, that is it. All you do now is put it on your plate. Oh, uh, your baking tray? I have here a really small one. I have my oven on about like 350, uh, which is kind of the standard. Actually, the um, recipe that I have does not tell you what it's supposed to be or even how long to cook it. So my rule of thumb when I'm making these is basically just to have them be slightly golden brown. Um, and then when you take it out, they are gonna be very moist and fall apart. They're more like a butter cookie, um, but still they're gonna fall apart. So you wanna let them sit for a bit before you try to take them off of the tray. And these cookies do not spread, so if you put it in a ball on top of the cookie sheet before you, when you put it in the oven, it's not gonna spread exactly, so I usually like pack it down and kind of create already. It's gonna like puff up a tiny bit, but not really. It's like not really gonna move. And also if you wanted to have it be a little bit easier to handle since it is I mean, they're a normal uh, cookie consistency, but if you want them to be less buttery on your hands, you can put it in the fridge for a bit, and that will make it a little bit easier to work with. Because now it's gonna be like super soft. I'm actually gonna put this in my fridge just to keep it fresh. On your cookie sheet, this is what the cookie should basically look like. Like, as you can see, it looks like I pressed it down completely. And then probably bake them for like five minutes. 
not five minutes, like, until you can start smaller than this. I'll be back. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll put another picture of it if you really can. And then, so I'm starting to smell my cookies. I'm kind of just been standing here. I am so ready for these dang cookies to be done. So this is what they look like now. So they're a little bit pale, but as soon as you probably could take them out because there's no eggs or anything like that inside of the cookies, so they will be fine to eat, but I personally like my cookies to be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna come back in another couple minutes and see how they're done. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Okay, they're ready. So these are what my cookies look like. You could make them a little bit darker if you choose to, these ones. I really am like darker, I'm kind of impatient, so maybe for the next one I'll make them a little bit darker, but that is about it. Now it's time to taste. Maybe you want to taste? Or I'm supposed to let them stick. As I say, I am very impatient. I'll let those ones stick, but I'm ready to taste these ones. super sweet or like those sugar cookies with the frosting you can cut these out the christmas time if you want and mold them i've done that too um just as a whole they're a very good cookie i prefer them they're my favorite type of cookies so thank you for watching my youtube video and i will see you in the next one bye my peeps